Today I'll be showing you how to make Flappy Bird. As you can see, I started just a new project, and before I started showing you how to do it, um, I'll show you what I uploaded. Um, uploaded a background of uh, three birds, one of it looking straight, one of it looking a little bit upward, and one of it looking downward. A cloud, and then two branches, one facing up and then one facing down. And that's all you're really going to need for this project. You're going to need a clock. You can label this one gravity. You're going to need another one. I'm going to name this one movement. Uh, Nullifier. Go leave that as is. And then we're going to want to go ahead and add a canvas. It's a width. I'm going to specify to be, let's see, I think I put mine out to be, I think it was 335 for my phone. And the height we're going to leave at 375. Put a, uh, a label here. This will be for a score. Go ahead and put a background on there. White. Texas. Red. Zero. Put a random number in there. Doesn't really matter. It's going to change anyway. Size is 20. We'll make a bold. For the screen, I'm going to want the background to be like a bluish, like the sky. And we're going to want a locked orientation of the phone and portrait. Change the background to none. And we're going to go ahead and upload our image for your background. In this case, I have mine already preset with a transparent. And that's going to be looking something like this some grass and some clouds on the side. Now you're going to start wanting adding in your. Your sprints here is what they call them, but it's really just your images that are going to be floating around here. So the first one's going to be the bird. And you're going to set that sprint to the bird. And I'm going to change the size. Obviously, it's way too big. I'm going to make him 30. By 30. A little bit small. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay. By 40. And that's pretty good. Set him roughly anywhere, because he's going to fall anyway. A little bit away from the wall. Now I'm going to want to bring in our branches, whatever type of obscription you want to put in there. And 
this case I am doing branches so I'm going to go ahead and grab some more image sprints one at the top and two at the bottom and then another one for the cloud we'll start with the branches at the bottom We'll say this is branch, so B1 for branch 1. B2 and then B3. This one can we just be renamed as cloud. This one here, we're gonna go ahead and upload our image into that. And this is the branch at the bottom, branch one. So go ahead and grab your first tree branch. This one should be in the upright position. shrink that one down keep in mind with these you want to use transparent or they call them PNGs or GIFs or GIFs that way it sees through to the background but you can really use any image you want and just what I picked in front off the internet you're just showing as an example taking no credit for it Once again, I'm going to get that branch again. Send at 25 here for the width and the height. It doesn't really matter at this point because it's going to change anyway via the program. So this one will do like at 100 just to show kind of what it's going to look like. Cloud. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and bring that in. I believe that's the cloud right there. We'll change its size to something more reasonable. Let's do let's do sixty on that. And the height will do like 40. There we go, there's your cloud. A little background image there for you. And then our second branch, which is the one that's going to be facing downward. And then it'd be my tree branch too. For me, like I said, any image. Trying to keep the thickness the same, but like I said, the height will change via the program, so it really doesn't matter at this point. And there you are. So you get your movement, your notifier, your label, your bird, your cloud. Make sure we have everything here. It looks like everything is, is basically set in stone. From here on out, it's just going to be in the block editor, and I'll follow that up with my second part.